Good afternoon, students. Today we are going to demonstrate the network theorem one, that is called superposition theorem, and then Thevenin's theorem. So coming to the superposition theorem, we are having the circuit as shown in this figure. Can you see this figure? It is having three resistances with three ammeters, which are used to measure the current uh, of these three branches. That means current flowing through this R1, R2, and R3. And there are two, three source, uh, two sources are connected over here. One source is this, another is this. Achha. In You can see here in the experimental setup, these are two sources. This is the first one at shown over here. And the second source is, is this. Now you can see here, the first source is showing 7.7 .7 volt, which we are um, keeping. And here the second source is 5.5 .5 volt. Okay. Now... Now I'm coming to the connection. What is the connection? The connect first of all, you can see over here this A point is coming here and this is coming here. So we are giving the sources here across this two terminal. This two terminal is this. Now next is ammeter and this resistance. These two are in series. So what we have given this is coming over here then resistance then this resistance is these two are in series resistance and ammeter you can interchange the position so first we are keeping the resistance then the ammeter so next this this one is coming to the ammeter and the ammeter from the another terminal of the ammeter it is going to the next branch that means this b point right so here it is the b point right so across this b and d this is d point this resistance is connected this resistance you can see it this one is the rheostat here intentionally one rheostat is kept to show you how the rheostat is being connected so it is the variable terminal and you can see over here this is this the fixed other, fix other terminal okay now b terminal now from b terminal what it is coming here okay now from this, it is going to, to this resistance, R2, right, R2. Then uh, from the other terminal of R2, to measure the branch current across R2, another ammeter is connected. So this one is the second ammeter. So this one is the first ammeter, which is measuring I1. This one is I2 and this is, is I3. So from the another terminal of the ammeter, it is going to the source. So you can see over here. It is going to the source source, and the other terminal of the source from the other terminal of the source here it is connected here. So this point is next. Now two additionally here two resistances are kept that is 30 ohm and 30 ohm. No need to worry about it because the same current is flowing over here. Now from across this terminal it is going to here to measure the R3, uh, I3 branch current and from the ammeter this terminal it is going back okay so this three terminal again connected understood Achha. now we are going to demonstrate the procedure first what we will do when two sources are connected this is the case when two sources are connected we will measure the all these three currents I1, I2, I3 so here I1 is showing 0 0.04 ammeter am, ampere, I3 is showing 0 0.06 and I2 is showing 0 0.02. So therefore, I am writing over here, I1 is 0 0.04, I am not writing the unit over here, I am writing over here. This is ampere, so 0 0.02 and this one I3 is 0 0.06 when both the sources are connected. Both the sources let me proceed to the second run what is that when only v1 is connected so that means we have to short the v2 let me short it okay. now i am making it off every time you have to keep in mind that you have to make it off and then we will do this now how, how i am doing this let me open this and sorry yeah. 
see this source is is just isolated okay removed now we are going to have the next set of reading that means v1 is connected only and we will measure all these three currents so now i am making it on hey sorry no quick wait we can switch we it can. we can switch it off now these are the measurement that is that is i1 a next is i2 a and this one is i3 a okay so let me write it up i2 a 0.03 so this is dc current you can see the negative sign that means current flowing in the opposite direction what we have assumed previously this current is just the opposite direction okay and it should be because if this only this source is connected and this source is not connected so therefore the current should be in this direction but previously when this source is connected the current is in this direction that's why this is negative okay there should not be any confusion regarding that so that is when v1 is connected only now only one run is left that is v2 is connected only which will gives us i1 b i2 b and i3 b now let me redo the process first i am connecting the v2 again in the circuit in the network and then i will remove v1 from the network at here it is being shorted v1 is shorted that means it is we are removing this one okay this two point shorted okay now i am <coughs> making it on remember that v1 v2 v3 value should not be uh, varied during the whole experiment okay now let me measure this one is i1 b you see it is flowing in the opposite direction with respect to the previous one this is is i3 b and that is i2 b all are in ampere now we are going to verify the superposition theorem how i1 should be equal to or close to i1 a plus i1 b acha i1 a is 0.06 and i1 b is minus 0.02 what it is coming 0.04 ampere and look at here i1 is perfectly 0.04 so we can write it here verified right next is i2 a and i2 b i2 a is and i2 b is 4 ampere and i3 a and i3 b i3 a is 3 ampere now look at here i2 is 0.02 and this is 0.01 that means it is close to this so here also we can write it verified with little error similarly it is 0.05 ampere and here it is found out to be 0.06 so here also these are close to each other so therefore here also we can write it as verified so with all this three or uh, with this experiment we can say that that superposition theorem is verified here perfectly and in this too with little error so uh, in a nutshell we can say that 
and this is the supervision theorem is verified satisfactorily.